Hello. So we're going to do Sarthal today. Um, I believe last time I had just done Shroud Hearth. So basically we did Greybeard stuff, uh, Thieves Guild stuff, College of Winterhold stuff. But the plan is still the same. Sarthal, Boost and Grav, um, Dustman's Cairn, probably in that order. And then I'll probably go back to Ustinkrav, get the free soul there, and then do um, what was I gonna say? And then probably do uh, Orthheim, Robber's Gorge, and Deadman's Respite. Okay, so let's see. I just bought Shadow Stride. I don't know if I can duel. I can, but I don't have the perk to empower it. Oh, right here. Empowered. Okay. Well, we definitely don't want... Whoops. I didn't even let go. I just did a weird bug where it took all my magic out. Oh well. Not entirely important that I cast it right now. Sarthal's not that difficult. My bigger concern actually is that I'm going to do it too fast and then just not really have anything to do. What is that? A I don't think I've ever seen this before. Wild. Oh, you're not a very good thug sleeping on the job. Huh. Well, thanks for bringing me three healing potions, buddy. I appreciate it. Cool. Well, anyways. Goat just fall off the cliff. Been before. Okay. Saber cat's still fun and balanced. You guys are both gonna attack me? Okay. I didn't think he could knock me down through block, but I guess he knocked me down through block. Man, the trip to Sarthal is going to end up being harder than Sarthal itself. Uh, I ended up buying this because health and st extra health and then stamina regen sounded pretty cool. Pop leaks. I guess I didn't pop leaks that early. It's just a lot of stupid stuff in Sarthal first. Oh well. Does this quest still have like stupid amount of goodies? Yes it does. 
Yeah, still a little bit too strong, but whoops. Do I have any, like, I have a balm, but I'm not going to use it on this dungeon for sure. No tonic or anything. I think we'll be fine, though. Sarthal's not that hard. The boss can be a little, little suspect, but... Should be okay. As some of you may know, Sarthal was one of the earliest Nord settlements in Skyrim. I don't know if you have to listen to any of this. I always do, but I never actually checked. If you can just go straight to whoever's in here, Phineas, or I don't remember who's in here. Because not having to would be really nice. Arnie all game, there we go. It won't let you pick it up. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. There's got to be a mod that lets you, like, skip some of this intro stuff. I really just want the Calder Amulet piece. Because in the next, like, two episodes, we're going to finish the Calder Amulet. Which will be our, like, best in slot necklace for quite a while. expected. But yeah, I have like a 10 second whirlwind sprint cooldown which is really nice. 13. It's going to try and be careful, all right? We don't want to damage anything. using the stamina still, yeah. Don't do that. Wow, that is some stamina regen. Well, and that's without a tonic. I thought I had the mod that makes them run fast. But that might have been Immersive NPCs, which I removed. Kind of just some. Hold, mage, and listen well. Know that you have set in motion a chain of events that cannot be stopped. Judgment has not been passed. But yeah, well, like our main goal right now, though, is to get. Expert, uh, expert illusion. Oh, what did I get all these insights from? I don't even know. I think we're gonna push maybe evasion to 50. Yeah. soon we're going to run out of things to spend regular insights on what just happened which is fine cuz we're going to be moving on to Falmer and Forsworn pretty soon here who knows what we're going to find all right and drop a quick save just so we don't have to watch any of that crap again Yo, Tolf Deer. You doing anything here, buddy? Sorry if you're busy. My bad, dog. Do your thing. Hmm. 
This is simply fascinating. It's going to be very painful without pushing to regen, though. I, I got too comfortable. Oh, wait, I have Rigel's helmet. Never mind. We're good. We're chilling. Telekinetic ones, I just don't know which one. Oh, I really thought that would stagger him. If I got at your own pace, I could do the whole, like, you can do Sarthal without doing, uh, without doing any of, like, the goofy cutscenes or anything. But maybe that's something I should think about. I mean, I've been meaning to download at your own pace for a long time, I just haven't. Step on the. Ah, uh, hit the corpse. Man, no one wants to stagger today. Okay. Make sure I'm actually wearing Rigel's helmet. Try to wait it out until I uh, get my enraging orb back. Keep walking or something. All right, make sure I looted these guys. This was the one. I remember I didn't loot one of them. Haven't gotten many graders so far though. Oh yeah, I have a ton of ancient coins to sell. Ooh, I can finally break it up. Cool. I don't, 
I don't think there's another rune here, or maybe there is. Oh no, there is. They're really hard for me to see personally. sprint there because I tried to do the thing where you sprint past him. Didn't exactly work out for me. This is one where you press one and it changes all the other ones, right? Yeah, this one's annoying as hell. Oh, no, okay. sound like there's another one. There isn't, but it kind of sounds like there is. Just wanted to create a little space for me here. Uh, my shield came up, hello. watch the video on that because I'm 100% positive I blocked. How annoying. Oh well, I'll take the graders though. Thanks, buddy. Oh right, doesn't it unlock something else if you match these? Oh no, they're the same. Snake, whale, whale bird. Oh, okay. Kind of weird. Well, I'll do this while I wait for my health to regen anyways. in case it has an insight. It had a grater. Well, I just complained about not getting graters, and yet, whoops, here they are. Two more levels. I think I did health last, so we'll do stamina again. Yeah, so the idea is expert 
plus um, expert, and then I think actually we will try empowered for empowered shadow shield and empowered simulacrum, but I don't think I have anywhere near the magical pool for that because I still need this perk as well, the uh, spellcasting evasion perk. steps on the freaking thing. Yeah. Every time. Okay. So this boss can be somewhat annoying, though. So we'll see how it goes. How will, what time am I? Oh, I'm only at 20 minutes. Jeez. Okay. I'll have to find something else to do, too, then. Maybe I'll go do the brawl really quick, and then do full Gunther, and end on that, and then I'll do Ustin Grav on its own episode. But first, let's focus on this boss. So I think... Summon Spirit Bear. Okay, that'll be... I'll probably use that for this fight. Eric Galderson. Nothing seems to work. Keep it busy. I'll try to drain some of the sour. What's what's wearing off? Oh, my leaks. I'll probably be okay. I'm just going to try to burst them down. But I need a distraction so I don't get torn to shreds by his ice magic. Perfect. Maybe overkill, but that's okay. But what's nice is now we have a... Magicka Necklace. Magicka Necklace and Magicka Helmet. So I can add like 70, so yeah, 76 Magicka to myself. This is simply fascinating. I don't dare leave this unattended. Can you return to the college and inform Davos Arons with this discovery? Sure. But I'm not going to do it now. Forum, right? Which I've still literally never used once. I hear it's actually really good. I will just take all of that. Okay. No, I would not. Okay. I mean, I have some minor stuff. Like, I have the. Helm of Winterhold and the Pride of Telvo, but it's kind of like... Oh, I didn't finish that quest. That's kind of funny. But, like, I don't really care. And then I have one roll to do here. And then it's pretty much, yeah, Ustengrav. I'll do full Gunther because it's here. And then my plan was to do Ustengrav then Dustman's Cairn, then come back to Morthal. Use the soul from Ustengrav to learn Fire Breath, probably. Or Frost Breath, one of the two. And then um, do Deadman's Respite, Robber's Gorge, and Orthheim all at the same time. And then we're going to start Dragon Hunting after that. So that's kind of the loose plan here. So we're going to ride our horse to Dawnstar as fast as possible, do the brawl as fast as possible, and then do Full Gunther ep in the episode on Full Gunther. Because Full Gunther is shorter than Ustengrav, if I'm not mistaken. Ustengrav is one of those dungeons is like 45 minutes. Half an hour to 45 minutes. It's usually something you want to do in a self-contained episode. If not, I'll do that and 
Robber's Gorge or that and Orotheim or something. I don't know yet. But anyways, should be... I'll probably just keep recording. You guys can skip forward if you want to see the... If you just want to see Full Gunther. But I always have shenanigans happen to me while I ride, so I kind of just figure I'll record this time. It's only going to take me like 10 minutes. So that's not a big deal. But yeah, I'm kind of at like... I'm almost at content paralysis just because I have like so much to do. Am I going the right way? I don't even know if I'm going the right way. Now I should be going the right way. But um... Because I have so much to do. Like, I have everything I just mentioned, plus I need to actually start working on um, persuasions. I still have to do. I need seven more persuasions, because I picked up two more in um, two more in Winterhold. Oh, hell no. To the no, no. There's so many werewolves. What the hell? Oh, I'm not even going the right way. Bruh. I'm actually almost to um, Forgotten Cave, but I don't have the quest because I've never been to Windhelm, as you can see. Oh shit, I stopped moving. Bruh. What is going on? Star is this way. Okay. This is what I get for reading at night. Which Rocker Dungeon is this? Silver Drift Lair. Oh, isn't that vampires? I don't know if I've ever done that that place either. Dawn Star is also this way. Another saber cat. Oh, is this going to be one of those paths that takes me through a dungeon? Or through a fort, I mean. Yes. What are these? Are these Silverhand or are these bandits? Do I want to do this fort real quick? for it in like 10 minutes. Yeah. Is there really any benefit though? That's the question. Honestly, probably not. Oh, you're fast. Oh, he's a red guard. Oh shit. I'm over encumbered and then I'm hitting caps lock by accident. Yeah, no, this is a stupid idea. I was kind of just vibing, but now apparently I'm over encumbered, so I can't cast any spells. Okay, this is getting really annoying. I'm just gonna take off, honestly. Unironically, just gonna dip. Just can't be bothered. Like fat fingering buttons and shit. Uh, of course, there's another saber cat. There. As long as you manage to hit the H, um, it'll force the, it'll force the mount animation no matter what. Even if your horse runs off, it's a little known mechanical thing. 
So if you're using simple horse, or I guess people use simple air horse now, just always mount like the second you summon it. That's the place that has the staff, right? With the raised dead. It's a guaranteed staff of raised dead too. Because at one point I'm gonna do a, or at some point I'm gonna do a um, staff build. Oh, companions are all the way up here. That's really random. Oh, Khajiit. They actually, a lot of times, actually have really good stuff. So, oh, my food's gonna wear off, so I gotta buy some anyways. Uh, alteration. Hmm. That's pretty nice. Uh, not 2900 nice, but it is nice. I could get my other effigy right now. Obviously these, uh... Oh, they sell oils. Okay, they're just really expensive. I've been wondering who sells oils. And they sell constitution. Okay. Well, we're gonna spend some money here real quick then. There we go. Well, let's see. Yeah, significantly cheaper. Um, probably buy those. Your two chilling oils, your one shocking oil. Okay. Do I want that? I'll take that just because it's here. Resist projectiles. Like, this is the one that I just could never find. So I'll buy one to have it on me. I wonder if I should keep this. Just I'll probably keep that. I don't think I need. I hope I don't regret selling my crossbow, but I'm kind of tired of carrying it. And we're gonna be using shouts as a ranged offense anyways, really soon here. Well, that definitely set us back some septums, but that's okay. I was going to buy the um, the other uninfused effigy because I can make my abjurers right now. I have a filled grand, so I can just buy an uninfused and I can make my second effigy. But I don't know. I kind of feel like we'll just continue with the... Um, with the illusion one. Oh, I need to buy some food too. It's a curse. It has to be. I I've got to get out of this town. I envy you, travelers. Yes. Ever since my mother died a few winters ago, I've been trying to get some help. The entire town has been plagued by horrible nightmares. They're in. I must. Perhaps you'd be. I, I would simply ask that you trust. One, Nightcrawler Temple is only a short walk from. Well, I'm not going to actually do this right now, but. Don't work here. Take a look and save that appetite. Hmm? Um, cabbage soup, not a bad idea. Vegetable soup, of course, is always good. Stam and Stam region. I really like health food, though. Yeah, we'll stick with the beef stew. Mm -hmm. I promise to answer all of your questions. Okay. Me 
do my... I'm actually getting to the point where I might consider wearing the stamina or the magical one. Okay, we'll deal with everything else later. Don't want to buy my other effigy. I think I can wait. Oh, frame rate. Wow. How much time are we at? 35? Yeah, I should have just enough time to do full Gunther and call it good. Oh, actually. What am I doing? Why would I ride there when I could just... Can I take the boat there? Because the boat's a lot cheaper. Let me find out real quick. Pretty sure I can. And it's like a quarter of the price. I'll take start grabbing some death bell over here. So I, have, I still haven't quite done Ingen's chest and that. Ingen's chest is good to do at any level. The stuff that's in there is insanely good. Oh, it's like five tonics and all kinds of stuff. It is really tempting to try to squeeze an Ust and grab, I'm not going to lie. Just to have it done. I honestly thought Sarthal was going to take me longer than freaking 20 minutes. wearing off. Oh, my food is... I thought it was already wearing, wearing off anyways. Oh, I guess the boat ride was considered super short. Dang, I'm kind of already heading in that direction. I don't know. I didn't even do my intimidate. I went all the way there. Oh, whatever. You know what, at this point... Yeah, we're going to do this in craft because we're almost there. It's kind of sus to do it with no magic resist, though. Because I don't think you can mind control the Necromancer's um, summons. I go beef stew. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll figure out what I want to pair with Full Gunther tomorrow, or tomorrow, or whenever I do the quest. So we'll just make this an extra long one. So they probably don't do much damage to each other. Big mud crabs are unironically scary. Yeah. Because their attack comes out, like, not in the actual correct animation. health here. I just hope that she doesn't nuke me. I'll switch to Alakir boots as well. Oh, that's right. I have really good frost resist. I forgot. I forgot I have two pieces of frost resist gear. Actually puts me at 70%, so actually we'll be chilling. I completely forgot. That's what I got him for. She's over here. There 
right? Well, that was anticlimactic, but whatever. Thanks for the free stuff. I picked up something. Oh well. I didn't just give her that stuff that I know. Where's the necromancer? Didn't she die, like, right here? Yeah. Oh, she's bugged. Yeah. Scroll of Sunblast. It's actually really good. Okay. Is that a balm? I didn't read that correctly. No, I only have one balm. Uh, anyways. I might hold on to this just for those like spiders that you can't reach. I think we'll be okay, actually. Yeah, we'll be okay. We're just gonna send it. So it's actually dragging on a little bit here. So try to uh, oh shit, that's right. Definitely want to do the Ustim grab cheese. It's not really cheese. I mean, it's a scripted event, but. Some people like to go and fight them. And it's tempting because they give they give uh, greater insights, but I see the Spectral Archer and I'm like, I don't want any piece of that. Check something real quick. So let's say like Shadow Cloak rank two is one forty eight. I want to see how much the evasion perk actually helps. Considerably, it dropped thirty four cost. I'm actually just going to keep that. Okay. Yeah. What's my Raging arm at 57. Let's go, dude. Apparently my gear was really heavy. Okay. Anyways. Oh, I'm not actually wearing an elven shield anymore. I was trying to think of what shield I want to change in Scarim Outfit System. I wanted to change, ooh, create wolf illusion. It's actually really good from my from what I hear. I haven't used the new illusion spells like Wow, glass bolt. Glass and orbit. This is like a max level bandit. That's why it took them so long to kill him. Man, it's tempting to just take your crossbow again with all these good bolts. But I just, I don't know when I'll use it, because I'm going to be fighting Draugr for a while. Oh, the mages in Wolf Skull, it might be good for. I'm just going to take the good stuff. Yeah. In case for some reason I decide, because I might, doing Wolf Skull in the next one is somewhat tempting. But it's pretty scary without better resistances. I was going to save it 
until after I do Orthime at least. But, um, I actually don't have the worst, like, resistances right now, because I have this magic resist shield. 16%, I think. So, yeah, Alakir shield, yeah, 16%. Wow, some good stuff here. I have, I have seen the mages win, so I have to be careful of that, which might have been what just happened. Of course, I'm going to choose it because I hate these fucking things. Where are you? Oh, I have a resist magic ring too, I completely forgot. Man, I actually am pretty set as it is. Oh, that over encumbered me, never mind. That pretty much ends the hardest part of Usnograph, so. Did I get a deficient? Okay. I'm already getting pretty over encumbered as it is, so. This would normally be where I'd grab all this crap and run out to my horse. But I just can't be bothered. Okay. Magic one to come kill him. Or him to get into a fight with the magic one. It's much more of a bloodbath. Surprise this many drugger and we're still alive. Oh yeah, that's the staff of ice spheres, but I don't really need two staves, and I'd rather have the lightning bolt one. Oh. I don't have a stamina food anymore, so I need to make sure I have stuff going. Oh, I only have two stamina foods left. Okay, we're going to wait then, actually. There you
we at? 50 minutes. Yeah, it's going to drag a little bit long, but that's that's okay. At least it'll be done. It's mostly because I fucked around on the path over here, too. Just getting impatient. Need to relax. I also got too comfortable with uh, having potions of regen, where you could just... It's the blank ones that don't fire, right? Yeah. He's gonna fuck off. Okay. Sarm has been resisted. Not, not some drugger for quite a while. Yeah, see how there's no food in here now? This is part of the food remover. Or there's basically almost no food. Not no food. Makes a lot more sense, though, that there would be no food here. So I'm okay with it. I think there's a chest to break, right? Is there a chest in here? There's always... Oh, I was going to say there's always a chest in here. We have, this is like 2, 3k worth of ancient coins as well. So, did I just go the wrong way? No. No, I did not. That's awkward, because I don't have another weapon. What does empowering it do? Increasing damage. Oh, it just buffs whoever you rage. That's kind of funny. Who do we think is going to win? I'm going to guess the higher level one. Okay, enough messing around. Hello? Jump button?
Well, that was kind of a wacky fight. Another grant. Oops, I don't need four to five marksmen ever. And I'll forget about it and it'll just end up clogging my inventory. I already have too many potions, way too many potions anyways. I need to be using whirlwind sprint mid-combat more often too. Once you get in the habit of it, it's really, really nice. Especially for heavy armor builds to be able to move that far. Should probably actually use Shadow Cloak every once in a while. I mean, I haven't been facing that many archers though. Where is the skeleton holding all that? for Ghoul's boss pretty soon here. And he is also not updated, so something to think about. I don't remember how you tell which one's on that one. I don't know if I care to get the chest up there. It's a lot of effort for one chest. But I am going to actually get the word wall because that's like the thing that I forget. And this does have BE, so I would like to have it. There's also two chests, too, on the walk that most people don't get. Actually, get it? Yes, I did. Yeah. See, we have we have a good amount of shouts now. The full gun throw will get us the first word of uh, frost breath. Once we have first word frost breath, first word fire breath, we can kind of grind dragons after that. This is the one that everyone misses. Didn't end up having anything this time, but I have gotten insights from it. I think there's one more, but I don't care that much. I'm just trying to get her done. Apparently I aggroed something over there. Maybe. Oh, I should probably re-equip my stamina necklace. Yeah. I'm not gonna face a frost enemy for the rest of the rest of the dungeon. Just ghoul's boss, and it does shout. So, gotta be aware of that. I, say, I believe it just summons. I always just kite it on this pillar. It's another one of his bosses that's very tanky. So, also hits like a nuclear missile, but more importantly, it's a very, very tanky. Just for the fun of it. Yeah, 738. So, that should tell you. 
I think even blocked his his power attack will kill me. Pretty much guaranteed. Yeah, so even his bash did uh, 62 to me. I think that was Enraging Orb wearing off. I doubt Hibernation Spray will work, but let's try it. We did. Cool. We'll pop a Deficient real quick then. While Bro's sleeping. What's wearing off? Oh, my Fortify Health. Should be due for a shout again. That's what I'm waiting for. His shot must have a really long cooldown. Volskek. I wonder how many times this will work. Cause don't you get more immune to uh, illusion each time it works? What was that? Oh, marked for death. That's kind of cool. Two of the words of Mark for Death. Yeah. And then you mess up one time, and then you have to do the whole fight over again. And that's the problem with these bosses being so tanky, is you just get tired of fighting, and you're like, man, I want this thing to be dead. Apparently you get stuck on stuff. faster. Yes, I know I bought burning oils, but I don't really want to use them on him. I want to, like, stock as many as possible and use them on dragon priests and stuff like that. so short and clearly it's the same attack loop over and over and over again so yeah, I think we're at an hour hour and five yeah hmm. nah, maybe I'll do it legit one more time and then if I die I'm just gonna move on I'm just getting impatient and I'm probably not gonna stop getting impatient you know as if I needed a visual demonstration yeah I'm just I don't get it right now, I'm just not patient enough to slash this guy a hundred thousand fucking times. Is 
I still have to do the spiders too. back a little bit. Oh, I thought I could really thought I could bash him out of it. Okay. So I really can't do anything other than just dodge and slash over and over and over again. Pretty sure he toned him down, which should be good. Hello? That time I was ready. But see, I mean, if you look, I've done like a quarter of his HP, or maybe a third. blocking actually does anything, like it would have done much more, because I haven't been hit by the unblocked version yet. Don't get me wrong, I actually like this boss fight. I like the concept behind it. That he's a drogger that hits really hard and has shouts, especially shouts that we haven't really seen. Fortify health wore off, so now we know for sure I won't survive another hit. I believe he drops graders too, though, which is nice.
might actually call it after this boss fight. I'm getting pretty tired. And there's nothing really interesting. The rest of the Ustin grab just the spiders, which is kind of... You've seen it once, you've seen it a million times. Now imagine if he gave this guy his kind's piece. <laughs> to finish Ustengrav. I don't really know if I want to, though. It's so like I said, there's not that much left. Oh, Shadow Stride is one of those we were going to see. Yeah, so I do have the Magicka to dual cast Shadow Stride, which would have given me more movement speed, but I do need the dual cast perk. Uh, ooh, I do have enough. Finally. And we'll finish... Evasion. Yeah, I think we're going to call it good on that. I'll probably pick up in full Gunther still, because there's nothing really interesting left here, and I'm just going to go straight to bed, because it's getting really late. That's why I kind of probably sounded like I was getting annoyed. Also, shouldn't have died that many times. I just got impatient, because I was looking for the episode to end. Um, but any in any case... Oh, let me drop the F5 again real quick before I buy... Yeah, for some reason, Expert's at 60. I never understood why, but, um... But I'll take it. But yeah, we would do Shadow Shield, Shadow Simulacrum. And then I will see how much those cost. So Shadow Simulacrum is castable. Shadow Shield is also castable. And it, ooh, and it gives armor rating. The 15% the attack speed is what we really want, but I would have to be able to dual cast, which would require, obviously, 302 Magicka, which I do not have. I don't even believe. 190 plus 30... Thirty. My helmet is thirty-two. Sixty-two. Plus Sarthal amulet, or plus um. One hundred and two, and I am one hundred and. Hundred and fifteen, short. So even if I did the thing where you like have casting gear and then switch back and forth, I still just barely can't dual cast Shadow Shield or Shadow Simulacrum. They have the same cost. Yeah, the Empowered Shadow Simulacrum just basically makes him heal after every fight. So, which is really useful, obviously, for mid-combat healing, but... The single cast is usually enough. And then he reduces armor. So this is, of course, what we're going to go with. Um, Shadow Shimulacrum, Shadow Shield. Yeah. At this point, like, I have too much stuff <laughs> favorited. But that's okay. But in any case... We're going to call it on that one, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.